Now I'm told it takes an HR manager only one look at you to understand how reliable and competent you are and to draw conclusions about your social status and goals. Do they have a crystal ball or some tea leaves or something? Well, there are five things you should know that hiring professionals use to form their opinions about you and decide if you will fit into the corporate culture. Now, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications to keep up with our updates. What the colors of your clothes say about you Sherry Masonave, head of Empowerment Enterprises, an image consulting firm based in Austin, Texas, says that the first impression happens in less than 30 seconds and is based entirely on your attire. This is why you should choose your clothes very wisely if you don't want to be out of the race before the interview begins. The first thing that matters here is color. Using the color of your clothes, you can influence other people however you want. The colors we choose for our business attire sends a strong message, according to Linda Goldman, business communications and etiquette consultant. So, you have to pay serious attention to the colors of your clothes you're going to wear for a job interview. If you choose clothes with contrasting colors, you could make a powerful and dominant impression. A success-oriented professional who likes to get things done quickly and to the point, well, this is what the HR manager will see you like. Pastel colors in clothes and makeup can help you win other people's trust. The most important thing is not to overdo it. Otherwise, you might seem childish and immature. Blue is probably the best color choice for a job interview. This is why uniforms and business suits are often blue. It's associated with reliability, confidence, competence, and expertise. Blue might not be the best choice for a creative job interview, though. They could consider you too conservative, so you might want to experiment with details and shapes if you want to wear blue and land that designer position. Otherwise, go for purple or yellow. Those colors stand for uniqueness, optimism, and creativity. Also mustard. Well, at least the yellow does. The color red represents the life force and the inclination to be successful and efficient. This is the color of leadership and means that you are not afraid of standing out and attracting attention to yourself. However, for the first job interview, it's better to choose a deeper shade of red like maroon. This choice will make people think that you are wise, well-educated, and can help you earn the respect that you deserve. Dark clothes make your potential employer feel like you are a serious, reliable, and competent candidate. The worst color choice for a job interview, according to studies and opinions of specialists, is orange. It's often associated with something unprofessional. But don't say that to PGA golfer Ricky Fowler, who likes to wear orange on the final day of the tournament. Hey, he has 8 wins so far! Otherwise, maybe it's a good idea to save your favorite orange blouse for the weekend. What the style of your clothes says about you Business suits are not always the best choice for a job interview, because the impression you may give the employer is that you are overqualified. This stereotype exists because, on a subconscious level, people think that only highly qualified workers with a lot of ambition dress in this manner. If a manager is hiring for a senior-level position, then this type of serious look may be advantageous. However, if you're looking for a job as a nurse or a shop assistant, this type of attire is inappropriate. HR specialists may think that your ambitions are too high for this position and will move on to the next candidate. If a woman wears a flower print dress and her hair long, she doesn't look like a successful leader. For most office jobs, these clothes are inappropriate. But if you are looking for a job teaching children or a creative job, this type of attire is not just appropriate but also preferable. Speaking of prints, let's party like it's 1999. No, the other prints. Yeah, those prints. It's better to avoid animal ones no matter what job you're looking for. Keep your leopard dress for a night out. While a flower print dress won't do you much good, it doesn't mean you shouldn't avoid dresses altogether. A tasteful statement dress that doesn't reveal your neckline and ends around one inch above the very top of your knee will do just fine. If you choose to experiment with colors and pick a deep red or muted turquoise, for example, you don't have to add any extra accessories or jewelry, they say. 
The perfect dress will be enough to describe you as a person with good work ethics and a sense of style. What your brands say about you Luxury brand logos, an expensive watch, or the latest model cell phone mean that status plays a big role for the candidate, and they care about the impression they make on other people. People who are demonstrative are not the best bosses, so this may decrease their chances of getting a leadership type of role. The office is not the place where one should demonstrate their financial dominance over other people, and especially not over the employer. Indeed, it's better to impress your prospective employee with your professional achievements and attitude to work. Hit thumbs up if you agree. Illustrative details There are no meaningless details when talking about the image of a businesswoman. Keep in mind that if you notice a bad manicure, old clothes, and other flaws, so can a potential employer, and this can make a bad impression. Also, you should avoid very bright makeup and strong perfume. You don't want to be the reason for an allergy attack, do you? When it comes to jewelry, wear small and elegant pieces of jewelry like small earrings, bracelets, and watches. Glasses with a very stylish frame can be a great touch to your image. But earrings that look cheap, or ones that are made of cheap materials like plastic, are not a good idea for a job interview. Your bag should have a clear shape. Avoid bags that don't have a shape, ones that look like a sack, and bags with bright pictures. These can only be used for informal occasions. And don't be afraid of including a few colorful accessories. Even a very serious suit can look completely different if you add a bright red bag to it. Clothes say how well you can fit into the corporate culture. Are you one of us or not? So, your attire should be as close to the company dress code as possible. People are more eager to accept other people who are like them. So, the more you look like the other employees, the easier it is for an HR manager to imagine you working with them. To do your research, you can use social media. A Facebook, Instagram, or web page of the company you want to work for is probably out there somewhere. Go find and study the page carefully. HR managers are usually very attentive to the information about the candidate that they can find online. So job-seeking specialists strongly recommend that you do the same. If the employees of the company you want to work for dress in a formal business style, then you should definitely wear a suit. And women can wear a simple dress with a jacket. If they wear casual clothes, you don't need a jacket or a suit. But don't put on jeans, sneakers, or t-shirts. Those are way too casual for a job interview. If you need something completely informal, you should put on at least one serious thing. For example, you can wear jeans with a blazer. If you applied for a creative position – designer, marketer, PR specialist, illustrator, copywriter, event host, and so on – you need to be creative about your image. Include some bright colors in your attire and put on some accessories. Look at it this way – how can you get a creative job if you bore people with the way you look? Some companies even prohibit wearing ordinary clothes. You should make it clear that you value the freedom of creativity and you are open to new ideas. So, how do you plan your outfit when you're getting ready for a job interview? Feel free to share in the comment section below. In case you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe to not miss any updates. Join us on the Bright Side of Life!